time your workbench uh, changes and it might not be as flat as you as it once was well depending on how good a job you did the first time of flattening your bench it can be a good idea to flatten it every once in a while just to get it back uh, to a good stage where you can do work because it's really important when you do a project that you have a flat surface to work on it makes a big difference or reasonably flat you know we don't have to go crazy but um, the whole reason why I'm doing this is because it's been kind of annoying me lately you know I hate when you work on something and then you know it's tilting it's not you know you can really feel that it's not flat and that's just frustrating so in order to change that and fix this uh, I'm going to be planing the bench uh, and making it more flat now the way I do that uh, is first checking to see where it is actually uh, not flat and I think it's a good idea to use a level or something else that's very straight with that um, and this is just kind of to give you an idea of where you really need to flatten it out and I just like to kind of go over and see where the light comes through because wherever the light comes through you can see that there's a valley in the middle so that's where you want to flatten it on the sides once you've established that it's not flat, it's a good idea to just make some pencil marks uh, where you're going to be planing. That's where you'll know later where the high spots and the low spots are as you start to plane. Um, now for the plane, I like to start off with a rough plane first. This is a number five jack plane and of course it's important to have a sharp blade for this. Now as we're going to take off the biggest amount of wood first, it's a good idea to start right across. Now you can see here where the pencil marks go missing. Like here was obviously a higher point and here as well, whereas in the middle uh, it was lower. So as you work, where, as you work your way through, some pe pencil marks will still be here. So this is the most rough you want to get. It's kind of like using a ripsaw for a cross cut. Um, and I mean that's the whole point here. I want to be aggressive and I want to really get it flat in the first place. To reduce the aggressiveness of the cut, once you have it pretty flat, then you start moving your plane in this direction and then eventually in this direction. And eventually you'll switch over to the smoothing plane. Uh, now this is kind of a fun <laughs> workout to do and uh, I actually really like the fact that you know this is your bench you can do whatever you want with it so I like to be rough with my bench and do a whole bunch of different things with it because it's easy enough to clean up so the whole point for this is basically to get the job done now if I was doing a more finished table like a live edge coffee table or a big dining table or something like that and I wanted to make sure it was flat I probably would you know set up a sled and a router and and it probably it would come out better it would do a more finished job but here I'm more concerned about actually getting the job done it doesn't have to be perfect it's a workbench and I just find this easier to do then uh, so that's why I'm going this route uh, so this is one way to flatten out your bench uh, thank you guys for watching see you soon bye